Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, you guys, I know it's been a while, but some really huge, huge things have happened in our lives, and everything's just kind of been a, a, a whirl, a wind, a whirlwind, a whirlwind. Everything's been crazy. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna white address what's happening right now in this video that will definitely be coming up soon though i'm going to clue you guys in if you follow my instagram already you might already know this huge news that is um happening to me and jason but again i will get a video out soon and also with that video um just talk about the future of this channel okay my beautiful friend heather over at the disney housewife um, asked me to take part in a Disney board game collection share and guys I'm all about it as you saw we love board games in this house my husband and I just love 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 to play games so I am absolutely thrilled to be sharing our collection with you guys um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave everybody who is sharing their collection in the description box below so make sure you check out all the videos that are being posted today by some amazing channels Whew. okay let's get into it alrighty so we have a classic here the very first game I'm gonna share with you guys is Disney seen it oh my goodness this seems like a lifetime ago that the seen it games were a huge thing as you can see you play them with a DVD, so that's been a quite a while. Um, but this game was always a fun one. I haven't played it in a long time. Oh, let's just look, it's like the holographic. Yeah. <laughs> um, haven't played in a while, but definitely remember some good times with this game. Um, so after I'm gonna show you the game, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll pull each game out and kind of show you all the pieces and everything that is um, kind of goes into them. I'm not gonna talk about the mechanics of the game because guys will be sitting here forever but if there is a game that you are particular interested particularly interested in um, go ahead and shoot me a DM over on Instagram um, the same handle here just a Disney nerd and I will um, either you know message you and talk about the game or if you guys are interested in seeing any individual videos about each game um, Jason and I can, you know, pull them out and show you guys the gameplay, teach you how to play. Let me know that too. That could be a really, really fun series. Um, yeah, so here's our first game. Disney seen it. Next up, we have one of my favorite games um, that is currently on our shelves because not only is it a great like game with the mechanics of the game, it is a Disney overlay on that game. So this game would be fun even without you know the Disney overlay on it. But because of the Disney overlay, I love it even more. And this is Disney Villainous and oh my goodness if you guys have not played this game yet I highly recommend you picking it up I know it is still you know carried at your local you know targets or Walmart I'm sure it's on Amazon but it is a very fun strategy game now again this is a strategy game I don't know how easy it would be for your little ones to play um, what does it say on the box doo, 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 doo. see it has an age limit so this says for ages 10 and up on there. So again, not a super, um, you know, easy game for the little ones to play, but oh, let's, <laughs> there we go. Disney Villainous, I'm definitely gonna open this one up and show you guys all the game pieces. They are beautiful, the art, everything. Love this game. Now, of course, we have the base game for Villainous, but along with that, we have, all of the expansions that go with it. Now the expansions, um, just 
they, they don't change the gameplay at all like some expansions do for other games. It is just adding of more villains to your um, to your roll call. So each expansion comes with three more game players and I believe you actually can. Yeah, so it is a standalone game as well. So it's just you can't play with as many players. Um, I still recommend getting the base game first. It's kind of, you know, includes some of the other like little pieces. I think like a cauldron and stuff. I could be wrong. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the Scar expansion. Next we have the Evil Queen. And that one includes, oh my gosh, she was it? Hades, Dr. Facilier, and of course the Evil Queen. Lastly, I think this is the newest one. It is Cruella de Vil, and actually this is a Target exclusive. Oh my gosh, my lighting is going everywhere, isn't it? I'm so sorry, you guys. But this is a Target exclusive copy, so that's just why it has this like sleeve that fits over the top. It doesn't change, nothing's different, just a special sleeve that goes over the top. Uh, here we have Pete, Cruella de Vil, and Mother Gothel. Yes, highly recommend playing this game, especially if you like, you know, just your normal tabletop strategy games. Um, I will definitely get these out and show you guys in pieces. Alright guys, I'm gonna move right along because we don't want this video to last forever. Next up is another older game. We have um, Disney Trivial Pursuit. This one is not the oldest, let's see, um, 2002, so not quite oh, 20 years old. Oh, <laughs> okay, wow, didn't want to think about that, but is um, like I said, it's from 2002, it's not the Trivial Pursuit that I grew up with, obviously. Um, but it is the same mechanics as any Trivial Pursuit game, with your wheel and the spokes and the pie pieces. Just, you know, Disney version. Up, we have Disney Picturica. Now I haven't actually played this one in quite a while, but I believe it's a simple mechanic. You kind of have these random tiles that are very, um, very dense in illustration, and so then you like pick a card, and then you just have to find that picture in the dense illustration. So basically like a Where's Waldo game, but Disney. Alright friends, next up is another one of my favorite games. So we actually had the like original game first before we had the Disney edition, but it is Code Names. This is a very, very fun game to play. I know there's like a Disney overlay. I believe there's like a Marvel one now. There might even be some like different other like versions of this game. Um, but you've got, you know, some pictures and you have a grid 
and you are trying to get your team to pick the cards that are yours and the other team has trying to pick the cards that are theirs on the grid by the clue giver. I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense here trying to go through this quickly, but this game, super fun. I highly recommend it. a game that we picked up um not last year but the year before on black friday i believe it was only about ten dollars i think but we have just pulled it out um during ye old quarantine so i actually thought this game would be very like very childlike um, the mechanics are really, really easy. You like pull out a card and it asks you a question like, what color are Snow White's eyes? You know, something like that. And then you have, you know, your list of color options right here and you lay it down and you score points by guessing the right things. And I thought that would be so easy, but there are definitely some harder questions in there that make you think. So we had a lot of fun playing this. <laughs> We have a board game that is still in the plastic wrap. We um, haven't played this game yet, obviously. Um, I got this game for Jason for Christmas, and for whatever reason, we just have not sat down and played yet. It is a Funko game, I believe, but not like the other Funko games where it actually like includes the pop figures. You can see the art there, just beautiful, really um, is what inspired me to get it. My husband, Jason, loves the Haunted Mansion. He loves board games. I thought this was a great gift for him. Maybe not since he hasn't opened it yet. <laughs> but yeah, oh yeah, here it is, a Funko game. Yeah, I really wanna play this, so I can't tell you too much about it. Um, if you have this game and you have played it, let me know in the comments, please, if you enjoy it and if you think it was worth, you know, buying and taking up space on our shelf. <laughs> Yay! All right, so I am going to now show you guys really quick some of the, like, smaller games we have. We have a Frozen matching game. I believe this was picked up in the Target, like, dollar, you know, spot many years ago. I have little nieces and I picked it up to play with, you know, the, the game with them when they were here visiting. Just a simple matching game. And to cap off this video, the last thing I'm going to share um, is our game here that is so sadly discontinued. Um, but the Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, like, card game that you used to be able to, you know, pick up a deck um, for, you know, free. They're complimentary with a park ticket in the Magic Kingdom. Super cute. Again, just fun art. You could play this game in the park, but I believe you could also, you know, look up and there are instructions to be able to, like, play this as a game at home. So definitely fun to have all the cards. So that is all of our Disney board game collection. I hope you guys did enjoy this peek into our board game shelf. Um, again, if you would like to see maybe a tutorial or gameplay of any of these games, let me know and I will try to maybe set up a game night and we'll film and just have a good time. I want to say thank you to Heather again. Thank you so much for including me. I love games and I am super grateful to um, have this opportunity to do this collaboration with you. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. It does help out my channel and if you 
really liked it, please consider subscribing to our channel. We have Disney hauls and vlogs and DIYs and just all things Disney. As always guys, I am Liz. I hope you have a magical day and we will see you real real soon. Bye!